60 years ago, I was 11 years old. Radio was the medium of the 1960s, at least when I was growing up. It was great. I loved it. And I used to tape record radio programs, not just programs, but music and commercials and things like this. One commercial stuck in my mind when I was 11 saying, there's something wrong with this commercial. This doesn't scan for me. I don't like it. I was 11 years old and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, but it felt wrong. Let me play it for you and you can hear the same thing and probably you'll instantly recognize what's wrong with this radio jingle. Go, go, go. Step, step, step. Two beans times two beans is four beans. Nescafe uses lots more beans. Ten beans times four beans, and add three more beans. Make like forty-three rich coffee beans. Yes, you get forty-three beans in every cup of Nescafe real coffee beans. That's all there is in Nescafe. Forty-three beans in every cup. Make Nescafe the all-coffee instant coffee with less have another cup. Taste. Okay, you've heard it. You can see. Extra beans means extra. I'm sure that you realize what I realize now, but young 11 year old Cliff did not realize. Two beans times two beans isn't four beans. Basic algebra says two beans times two beans is four beans squared. It's dimensionally wrong. Almost the first thing you learn in physics is watch those units. If you square the number, you'd better square the units also. Two kilometers times two kilometers is four square kilometers. Two inches times two inches, for those in America, is four square inches. So what's a square bean? Damned if I know. But then they go worse. They're not satisfied with mucking up dimensional analysis. It's dimensionally inhomogeneous. Two beans times two beans is four beans. Nescafe gives you lots more beans. Four beans times ten beans. And add three more beans. Well, let's think about the dimensionality of that. Four beans times ten beans. Ten beans times four beans. And add three more beans. Make party three rich coffee beans. You cannot add square beans to ordinary beans. You don't get 43 beans, you get 40 square beans plus three ordinary beans. So let's look at that and take them a little bit seriously. So they said two beans times two beans, which is four square beans. Can and I what... use this as a chalkboard? You get some Sharpies here, didn't you? Yeah, I got Sharpies by the time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just don't remember what the lyric was. Two beans times two beans is four beans. Hold on for a second. Two beans times two beans is four beans squared. What are we adding? Nescafe uses lots more beans, maybe ten beans times four beans, and add three more beans. Oh, let's stop right there. Ten beans times four beans, and add three more beans makes what? 10 beans times four beans is 40 beans squared plus three beans is equal to, hey, this is a quadratic equation. 40 b squared plus three b equals what? Are they supposedly getting this four beans from what they thought? Yeah. Okay, so that's, so that's not in addition. That's, we forget that now and we just, I've just like, so that should really be four beans squared ah, times ten. Ah, yes! Uh, Grady, you've got it. Grady, I said Grady. Nice to meet you, Cliff. I'm, I'm yeah. Brady. <laughs> Brady. <laughs> so one way of looking at this is to take each lyric as a separate arithmetic algebraic statement. Another way to do it would be what Brady has in his mind of combining them. Let's first take Nescafe at their word lyric by lyric. Well, they said 10 beans times 4 beans and add 3 more beans make, well, this equals 43 beans. So let's solve this as a quadratic.
10 beans times 4 beans plus 3 beans equals 43 beans. Easy to subtract 3 beans from each each side and you get 10 beans square 10 40. Oh, oops. 40 square beans equals subtract 3b from each side equals 40b. So 40 square beans equals 40 beans. Let's divide by b on both sides and you get 40 beans equals 40. Well, solve that by dividing by 40 on both sides. We find that beans equals 1. Oh, you get one bean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no? All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start this all over again. What do you want the brown paper then? Huh? Let's look at the next equation that they're talking about. Oh. Okay. Somebody's at the front door. Okay. Let's look at the next. E <laughs> okay. Clearly, the first equation of this Nescafe jingle is wrong. Two beans times two beans isn't four beans. It's four beans squared. Four beans squared. But what about the second Nescafe equation? Ten beans times four beans and add three more beans makes 43 rich coffee beans. So let's scribble it down. 10 beans times four beans and add three more beans and add three more beans makes 43 rich coffee beans. Let's solve this substituting B for beans. 10 B times four B plus 3b equals 43b. Combine terms on the left, we find first multiply this 40b squared. Combine these on the left side, 40b squared minus 40b is zero. That's a quadratic equation. So that's some kind of interesting equation. Let's factor it. So if you factor it, it graphs into a parabola and it factors into 40b times b minus 1, which says it's got real roots. It's got a root at 0. 40 times 0 times 0 minus 1, yep, that's right, also has a root at 1. 40 times 1 minus 1, yep. So, oh, come on, turn on, turn on. 0 and 1 are the roots of this quadratic. They're the values of b. That's what a bean yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the solution to this Nescafe equation. On the other hand, suppose we expand the entire jingle, combine the first part, dimensionally inaccurate, with the second part, dimensionally inhomogeneous, and let's see what we get then. Suppose instead of four beans, I say four beans squared. Yeah. So let's try it there. Okay. 10 beans times 4 beans squared plus 3 beans equals 43 beans. Now things get really tasty. Let's solve this one. This part is easy, same as before. Minus 40b. 10b times 40 squared is 40b cubed. b times b squared. 40b cubed minus 40b equals 0. Well, let's get rid of the uh, 40s and we find that we get a cubic. b cubed minus b equals 0. That's an interesting cubic. Okay, first of all, it's obvious 0 is a solution. 0 is the root of that guy. I'll leave it to the viewer to figure out the solution to b cubed minus b is zero. Obviously, zero solves it. Um, but another interesting question is, uh, what's 43 beans? I think, ah, yes, 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 yes. I put 43 beans into a Klein bottle so as to make at least one of these mathematicians happy. So I put 43 uh, beans into a Klein bottle. Actually, it smells nice having coffee beans. Rich coffee beans. At this point, it's worth saying that 
coming full circle. Oops. Beans in every cup. In fact, one of these fell out, so this, I don't care. Two mathematicians, Alfred Ray and Paul Erdős, have been credited with saying a mathematician is a device to turn coffee into theorems. It didn't occur to me that this would work in a very literal way. And so before any number of mathematicians on my wall, I say, my smiles to you from Oakland, California. It's Cliff Stoll. This episode has been sponsored by the brilliant people at Brilliant. You must know them by now, makers of interactive online courses, puzzles, problems, things that are gonna tickle your brain, make you smarter. I love how interactive everything is. All the sliders and movable parts, they really give you a feeling for the problems. They get your mind working in new ways. I love this stuff, it always brings a smile to my face. They say it's suitable for ages 10 to 110, but surely 9 and 111 year olds are going to enjoy these too. Go and have a look, it's brilliant.org slash number file. That URL is going to get you 20% off a premium subscription. You can also give Brilliant as a gift. And there really is something for everyone. It only weighs 60 or 70 pounds. A portable calculator smaller than a piano. You can't get cooler than that. Let's try to just add three, crank this around once. Three, once, this three, again. Three plus three is six. Again, nine. And then 12. 15, 